As Malcolm X said, the most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected person in America is the black woman. I use my show, Black Girl Magic, to uplift them, celebrate them, and also give them a space to be exactly what they are without pandering to anything else. The Vixen is powerful, aggressive, a feisty, feisty person. <laughs> My name is Anthony Taylor. I'm known as The Vixen. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Being The Vixen has really allowed me to tap into a personality that I didn't think I had. I've always been a little bit afraid to speak out. In the beginning, I thought that drag queens weren't allowed to say this or that. I thought I, as a black kid, wasn't gonna be able to speak out or make a difference in these ways. It's very important to speak your mind and to exercise your right to put yourself out there because if you live your life internal, when you die, no one will really know who you are or what you are about. Right now we're at Lake Michigan and this has always been my anchor in Chicago. Being at the lake and seeing it and how huge it is is a really good reminder for me of how small I am as a person and how small I am in the world and in the universe and it really helps me kind of feel grounded and not take myself so seriously. So I like to come here to think, to write, to decompress and relax. The day of my show is very intense. I typically get very quiet, so I kind of store up all of my energy throughout the day. My favorite philosophy comes from my grandmother, and that is, if I help somebody, then my life isn't in vain. My mom has always been very strict about telling the truth. She, she said, if you have to lie about it, you shouldn't be doing it. Being a fighter or being aggressive or being assertive, I knew that as long as I could go home and look my mother in the eye, then I was doing the right thing. Finished. <laughs> Black Girl Magic is my show that is comprised completely of black drag queens, male, female, transgender. It's really been amazing because Roscoe's is in the middle of the Boys Town Strip, which was once looked at as a very segregated area. So to have a show that celebrates black drag queens in the heart of an area that used to be very controversial and not very open-minded is progress. I think drag queens are a beacon of adversity. Especially back in the day, you had to have the balls to go outside in a wig, heels, be, not only be visible, but be a target. Regular people can look at drag queens and get that confidence and say, you know what? I just need to go out, because there's a good time being had without me. I hope people leave my show feeling like I can do anything, because to see some kid from the south side of Chicago turn a whole community that was not very open-minded into a celebration of black drag queens is impossible. And so if I can do that, you can do anything.